Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 3rd of August 2020. So Friday's main headline is that uh, mission accomplished, Fed officially blows the biggest ever bubble. We know this is the biggest debt bubble, stock market bubble, housing bubble. There are bubbles everywhere and uh, eventually we know what happens, all of the bubbles burst. But at the moment, uh, the Fed also managing to keep the stock market on the highs as well, which we'll see as we go through uh, Friday's uh, trades. So this is uh, the German DAX uh, for Friday. This is the pre-market before prices actually open. I'm going to wind this back for a second. So here you can see that uh, prices uh, headed down in the pre-market towards the low. We spoke about this in Friday's market alert and then just after I'd finished recording the market headed down towards the low and the reason I brought this up in the market alert was because in the daily chart we had this confluence of uh, fibs and also the 200 bar moving average which you can see here very important area for the uh, DAX and a good area to uh, actually stack the odds in your favor of the market actually moving to the upside. However, prices didn't quite get down to this area, which is a shame. I was hoping that the market would open trade down to this and then move to the upside. But of course, what you want and what happens are two different things. But it headed down towards there and then was saved, uh, which you can see there. So I'm now going to fast forward to the opening part of the session. These signals are in the pre-market. And uh, I'll just uh, bring this to here. And you can see now the market opens and we see them buy. Uh, from the off there with the green uh, buying bar and then prices move to the upside and uh, we've got uh, resistance here to uh, the left that we need to, to take out uh, the market immediately reverses off this and then you see them buying back and you can see how the 200 bar moving average becomes a support uh, for the market when it uh, opens along with the BRN and also trading above the uh, 20 bar moving average there. So prices uh, uh, then uh, do a, a bit of a red bar there, but we're still bouncing off the BR and the 20 bar and the 5 bar moving average uh, sideways. There. And eventually we get a buy signal, which is filled. Prices move higher. I've drawn in the resistance uh, to the left because that's where the last selling took place, which also came off this area here. And now uh, we need to move higher, move the stop to break even. And uh, you'll see that uh, prices uh, show a bit of whoops, come back a bit, bit of potential weakness here, but they don't come back to the uh, entry price just to see if the market would break through. Again, you can see why we've got this potential weakness because we've got this resistance to the left there. And then eventually prices move higher. And now we've got uh, the close and the BRN, which is going to be a very uh, a uh, strong area of resistance and above this you've got uh, the DP area as well. So prices uh, trading sideways and then we get potential weakness at this level and it's a matter of uh, closing out the trade and just taking the profits off the table. Uh, then as we move through the morning um, prices uh, become uh, sideways and eventually we get another potential buy signal. Prices uh, trade sideways. Eventually this is filled and uh, prices hit the scalp. And uh, again, trade up to uh, the resistance uh, on the left. Uh, 17 points profit on the table. Again, move the stop to uh, break even. And uh, again, this is uh, quite interesting because uh, the market uh, managed to get through the resistance here and then sail straight back down to uh, break even, which is a shame because the trade was taken out. You can see the selling coming in there. It was a case, let's get rid of the uh, stops, take the stops out and then move the market back to the upside, which uh, you'll see is exactly what they did. The bars remain green and price is closing back above the five bar moving average apart from this one. But the low of this bar doesn't take out the previous bars low. And then prices uh, drive higher, which is a shame. And you get the two uh, potential weakness bars. A lot of selling in this bar here. This is a fabulous indication of uh, selling pressure in the market because the range of this bar is far narrower than the buying bar that preceded it. And yet the volume is huge. And it's these small nuances that allow you to actually uh, optimize and, and take the maximum out of uh, a trade. 
And now you'll see prices uh, trading all the way back down, triggered by this uh, selling pressure here. And that was the uh, the morning session. We move over to the afternoon. The market was uh, choppy and sideways, and uh, we had a potential sell signal. Now we've got two pieces of news, and as I've said before, that uh, you have to treat uh, medium impact as high impact at the moment because they keep changing the rating of these. So there is a potential short and. You'll see the price is coming down to the 200 bar moving average uh, with the uh, selling, which is always encouraging. That's what you want to see. And then uh, we managed to uh, trade through, as you'll see in just a moment, down to the scalp and uh, taking profits off the table because of the news uh, coming out. The news doesn't come out on the yellow vertical lines or uh, red lines as uh, just after. And you'll see there, I'm just seeing what the the actual news was. Um, and you'll see, again, it's delayed, which is a pain. This, this is something else that I've noticed over the last couple of days that they're doing. And again, still trying to find out what the, uh, there you go, comes out as a positive. However, this didn't help the market, as we'll see. You can see there it did, you know, prices coming off the BRN with the green buying there. You can see them buying back in. And then the market is uh, is brought back and then it comes back down and it gets into a sideways move because it's waiting for the next uh, news and uh, again I'm going to fast forward through this and then there's something very interesting here again let me just uh, again you can see me checking the news I just wanted to see where we were uh, with this news and this also uh, came out more or less uh, the revised the UOM consumer sentiment came out more or less as uh, forecast and the market uh, didn't react to the upside. But what it's interesting here is watch this uh, price bar here. As uh, you can see now, the prices have closed below the 200 MA, uh, which is very important. So a close below the uh, BRN with more selling is uh, going to show that the market is weak. And there you can see the price is trading down to the BRN. And then uh, they, they attempt to come back. It's an area, even though there is no signal here, because you are read in the price bars below the 20 bar moving average, below the 5 bar and below that 200, which is uh, crucial. And on also uh, this, uh, you've got those two uh, selling bars there as well. So you can read the market as uh, the price is each price bar unfolds and then the market just goes south for the remainder of the session there's the odd profit taking coming into the market prices then fail to close above the five bar moving average and move to the downside and these are what i call uh, re-entry points in an existing trend and again prices now attempt to move back towards the 20 bar moving average and once again close back below the five bar so an attempt to move up is then met with uh, failure and moves uh, lower and now uh, you'll see prices uh, continuing to move to the downside and uh, we head into the close so there you see uh, prices from this weakness that appeared here with these two selling bars below the 200 bar moving average below the 20 bar and then as soon as we took out the BRN prices then moved lower. So let's have a quick look at uh, where we are in the bigger picture today. You can see that we've had the trade down to this low and now we're bouncing and moving back towards uh, the upside uh, with the uh, fibs there as well. So I'm just going to delete a few. I'm going to keep the downside there and I'm just going to add in on uh, the upside because we've left this high to this low. Uh, we can see that we've got some that's the sort of the bigger picture of the fibs, the swing. Uh, but also uh, we've got uh, this uh, high that's left behind here. So there's nothing wrong with drawing from this high to this low as well, just to see uh, again, sort of short term uh, fibs. So I'm gonna leave these on the chart. So I'll refer to these as uh, the market on false today. It's got a lot to do to get to even to here. Uh, it's got to take out the high of uh, Friday to begin with there. Overnight uh, prices have, uh, just bring this uh, forward, you can see uh, the market's uh, uh, opening gap higher. There was some selling, prices came back and um, they filled the gap and have moved back up to the DP level. They're also uh, trading above this uh, through the night and now you can see 
uh, price is moving higher there as well. The first thing I will do is this, compress the chart, have a look, see where I am in the bigger picture. I can see prices are trading above the DP, the 200 bar, and I can see the high of Friday up here, also the R1 as well. And I've got a couple of BRNs to uh, this level as well, which is only 100 points. So I know where I am in the bigger picture and I can see exactly where I am because once you get into these smaller time frames, it's difficult to know where you are. So you should always step back, have a look, see where prices are trading. Quick look at uh, the Dow as well, uh, which is also uh, very interesting, uh, particularly in the daily chart, because you will see if I just uh, drag this uh, apart, make it a bit uh, bigger to see you will see on Thursday and Friday of last week uh, the plunge protection team were active in the market and brought it back on two days where the market had retraced 89 percent and uh, this was achieved with uh, no problem at all as you'll see here once this is the five minute chart and you will see uh, prices uh, just being brought back all the way to the close having uh, moved lower in the first couple of hours uh, in the afternoon. So a great achievement by the plunge protection team there to keep the stock market uh, on the, the highs. And at the moment, uh, sideways in the Dow in the bigger picture there. And then finally, let's have a look at the week ahead. Uh, we've got uh, news today, ISM manufacturing. This is uh, for the US at 3 p.m. There is nothing tomorrow. No news Tuesday, which can be very quiet and sideways, just be warned. And then on uh, Wednesday, we've got uh, ISM manufacturing. That's the, the main one there. Uh, Thursday, it starts to heat up a bit in the UK. We've got uh, uh, monetary policy from the Bank of England, rates, etc. And Bailey speaking at uh, 12.30. And then, of course, uh, in the US, we will have uh, the unemployment claims again. Another 1.4 million forecast. This seems to be a pattern now every week. 1.4 million people uh, applying for uh, jobless assistance there. And then uh, Friday, we've got um, the... ADP uh, non-farm payroll figures, which also uh, are out uh, on Wednesday. There you get the heads up uh, there as well. So we'll see what uh, that uh, brings on uh, Friday. But uh, say the main thing here is uh, Tuesday is uh, no news for tomorrow. Okay, that uh, will do it uh, for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.